award winners, left or right face. Award winners reporting, sir. Very well. Good morning. I'm Captain Mike Garrett, Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Command. I welcome you to this morning's Recruit Graduation Ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where our Navy heritage meets the future and where these young men and women enter the profession of arms. Division 928 graduates today. They are the Triple Threat Unit, providing recruit choir, drill team, and band. Please join me in giving them a hand for their outstanding performances. Welcome to our reviewing officer, Colonel Chris Beveridge, Commander, Eastern Sector, U.S. Military Entrance Processing Command, and our guest of honor, Ms. Denise Rohan, National Commander of the American Legion. I would also like to welcome and recognize the veterans in our audience for their service to our country. Would our veterans please stand? I am pleased to welcome the families and friends of these graduates who have come here today to share in the significant milestone with our newest sailors. The men and women of Recruit Training Command are dedicated to providing the United States Navy basically trained, physically fit, and sharply disciplined sailors like those whom you see before you. They, and others like them, serve as the bedrock of our naval forces. They give our Navy its combat edge, and they enable us to help keep this nation secure. These sailors have successfully completed eight weeks of demanding recruit training. They have recently demonstrated their knowledge and their courage during battle stations. They have earned the right to wear the uniform recognized throughout the world as a symbol of freedom. This training group is ready to graduate and serve in the world's most powerful Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 551 of the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Recruit Training Command's competitive system among individual recruits and divisions promotes teamwork, attention to detail, and pride in accomplishment. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in the following mission areas. Academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more mission areas. Parade! Rest! Colonel Beveridge will now present this week's individual awards and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Garrick, and our guest of honor, Ms. Rohan. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Fireman Caleb Johnson, Division 217 from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Lake Defiance Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Fireman Johnson receives a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor.
for having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty, Simon Nashley Montanez Maldonado, Division 928 from San Juan, Puerto Rico, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Simon Montanez Maldonado is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Apprentice Caitlin White, Division 210, from Shingle Springs, California, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for best exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipmate. Seaman Apprentice White is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor! Airman Alexis Morera Alvarado, Division 928 from Long Beach, California, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Airman Morera Alvarado is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor! The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Seaman Brett D'Elia, Division 218 from Santa Clarita, California, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Seaman D'Elia is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor! Seaman Apprentice Jacob Fimbris, Division 209, from Tempe, Arizona, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a flag letter of commendation. Seaman Apprentice Fimbris, the staff of Recruit Training Command salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip!
I have the distinct pleasure this morning of introducing our reviewing officer, Colonel Chris Beveridge. As Commander, Eastern Sector, U.S. Military Interest Processing Command, he and his team screen qualified applicants and swear future soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen into service. Colonel Beveridge enlisted in the Utah Army National Guard in 1984 and received his commission in 1989 through the Reserve Officer Training Corps at Utah State University. He holds a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science and a Master of Science in National Resource Strategy from the Eisenhower School for National Security and Resource Strategy at the National Defense University. His career encompasses leadership and command responsibilities at every level, to include Commander, Alpha Detachment, 4th Personnel Services Battalion, Executive Officer to both the Deputy Chief of Staff for Personnel and to the Chief of Staff, U.S. Army Europe in Heidelberg, Germany. Assistant Executive Officer to the Director of the Army Staff at the Pentagon. Senior Military Advisor to the Director of Manpower, Iraqi Ministry of Defense, Multinational Transition Command, Iraq. Commander, 12th Battalion and Baltimore MEPS in Maryland. And Chief of the Military Secretariat under Director for Strategic Plans and Policy on the Joint Staff. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm Recruit Training Command welcome to Colonel Chris Beveridge. Good morning. Welcome to all our distinguished guests, and most importantly, the family and friends of these sailors that are here today. It is a great privilege to join you today to welcome these young men and women as the newest sailors into the world's finest Navy. I thank each and every one of you in the audience for the integral role you played in their success. You helped shape your recruit into a person who wanted to stand up for their country, who understands Navy Corps values of honor, courage, and commitment, and had the drive to make it happen. We now also welcome you, welcome you all into the Navy family. To all the young sailors standing now before me, congratulations on your accomplishments. You look magnificent. Some of you may be asking yourselves, why is an Army officer giving today's graduation speech? Well, for me, the answer is simple. After 33 years of service, one thing is abundantly clear to me. We are all brothers and sisters in arms. Whether we wear the Army uniform or the Navy uniform, we have all at some point raised our right hand and taken an oath, a very solemn oath, to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. Each of you has selflessly answered the call, the call to duty, to serve a cause greater than yourselves. You have passed every test and proven yourselves worthy of wearing the uniform that symbolizes freedom throughout the world, the uniform of the United States Navy. Whether you stay for five years or 30 years, you have joined an exclusive fraternity of those who have chosen a path of service. Sailors, I can tell you from experience that you are about to embark on one of the most challenging adventures of your lives. But I can also tell you that if you serve with honor, keep faith with your fellow shipmates, and strive for excellence in all that you do, it will also be one of the most rewarding. You've chosen to serve your country at a time when it is most needed, when America must show a strong presence throughout the world, on the seas and in the skies. You've taken on the task of defending our nation, and the instructors and staff here at Great Lakes RTC have done a masterful job of preparing you for this duty ahead. You have earned not only mine, but the respect of a very grateful nation. In closing, not as an Army Colonel, but as a fellow American, I would like to be the first to say to you all, thank you. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, sailors. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. 